and welcome to the Brush and Bubbles channel. Today we are going to be painting a monkey. This is such a fun painting to create. It's super easy and I'm going to be talking you all through exactly how you can create it at home. So cute! Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell so you get a little notification every time we post a new video. We'll be posting lots more just like this. You might even end up with a whole gallery on your bedroom wall. And if you like this video then don't forget to give us a little thumbs up. So let's jump straight into the tutorial! In front of me I have everything I need for my painting. So I've got my canvas and I'm going to be painting in portrait today. I've got a couple of different size brushes, a square shaped flat brush and then a smaller pointy brush. I've also got here a pencil in case I want to sketch out my monkey. I then have some kitchen towel, a glass of water, a palette with all of my paints in. So today I'm going to be using the following paint colours. I've got white, brown, blue, green and a small amount of black paint. Please don't worry if you haven't got any brown paint. You can actually mix up your own brown using some red, a little bit of white and some black paint. You can also experiment with a few different shades of brown. So you could mix red, blue and yellow together, which are our three primary colours, and then add a little bit of black to darken it up or a little bit of white to lighten it. So to begin with, all we want to do is we want to very carefully sketch out the face and the tail of our monkey. So this is when we're going to move over to our pencil. Now I want my monkey's face to be coming off the side of the canvas. So I'm only actually going to see one side of his face and then his tail is going to be over here. So I'm just going to sketch out the rough configuration of where our monkey's face is going to go. So I'm going to start over here on the right hand side of my canvas and I'm just going to draw the area which will be the middle of the monkey's face where the eye will be. And this is a sort of curved like shape going up, comes out and then it almost comes back in again, a little bit like we're about to draw half the shape of a heart. But we're going to stop about here. What we're then going to do is do another curved shape coming around and this is going to be the monkey's cheek. So again, just from that space, just carefully draw curved like shape and then you can swoop it down in a little curve as well going all the way off the side of the canvas and remember if you don't like any of the marks that you're making don't worry because we are going to be going over this with paint so you can change it up slightly all we're going to do now is we're going to draw another line on the outside of this one, sort of swooping around and coming up to the top here. And this is going to be the monkey's head. So I'm going to start over here. I'm just going to follow the line that I've done here, but it's going to be slightly wider. So I'm just drawing that up and around and then again, curving it up. So it's a little bit of a circle like shape at the top like so. We're then going to add in our monkey's ear. So this is just a C shape that comes out from the side of its head and the cheek. So I'm just going to bring this out from here and I'm going to do a big C shape coming around and it's going to come in and meet the cheek area just at the top here. And then inside that C shape, I'm just going to do another C shape. So it's almost a C or it's a semicircle, whichever one you prefer calling it. And that little area there will be the middle of our monkey's ear. The next thing we're going to move on to is adding a little bit of hair on top of our monkey's head. So I just like to do this in a squiggly like way. So just over here at the top, I'm going to do a small line and then a bigger line and then another one that sort of comes off the side of the canvas. 
We're now going to move on to just drawing in the side of the monkey's neck. So this comes out from here, the base of the head, and we're just going to swoop the line so it goes out a little bit like a curve. We're now going to move on to drawing in a few more details for the monkey's face. So we are going to be painting over these, but I think it's quite nice just to sketch them in, just so you get used to it and you have a rough idea of where you want the eye and the nose and the mouth to be. So up here, we're just going to draw an oval shape. So this is going to be the eye. And I'm going to bring the eye from about here. And then it's just going to be an oval shape going up like this. Once you're happy with the eye, we're just going to draw in the nose. Now, we're only going to see half the nose because the other half will be on the other side of the canvas. So I'm just going to do a little oval shape like this coming off the side of the canvas so we only see that part of it. And then we can add in the mouth. So the mouth is a little bit like a J shape, which just comes down and swoops around like that. We then might also see the other side just coming off the other side of the canvas. So it's nice just to draw that in as well. Now for the fun bit, we're going to draw in our monkey's tail. So this is just a big wobbly shape that comes off the side of our canvas here. So I'm going to start at the top and I'm going to start with a swirly like shape. So I'm just going to swirl this around. It can be nice and wobbly and wonky. Then I'm going to curve it down in a wonky way all the way to the bottom of our canvas. What you can then do once you've got in that line is we want to make the tail slightly thicker. So here where I've got this swirl shape, I'm just going to bring the line coming down exactly the same as the other side till we reach the base of our canvas. So as you can see, we now have a very rough shape and design for our monkey's head. We've got the head over here, the eye, the nose, the mouth, the ear, and we've got our tail. So what we're going to do now is we're going to move on to creating the colour that we're going to paint in our background. So this is the whole area which isn't our monkey. So it's completely up to you what colour you do this. Like I mentioned before, you can go multicoloured, you could go pink, yellow, orange, red. I'm going to be going for a sort of turquoise colour because I've got blue and I've got green here and I'm going to be mixing them up a little bit with some white. But just remember to have fun with this because everyone's colours can look totally different and you don't have to copy what I'm doing. So to mix up my background colour, I'm going to be picking up my bigger brush. Now I just recommend dipping it in your water, giving it a little tap on the base of your cup or your jar and then just dab off any of the excess paint over on your kitchen towel, just so it's not too drippy. And then moving over to your palette, we can now mix up our background colour. So I'd have a little look at your canvas and just decide how big it is and how much paint you want to be mixing up. You might need to mix up lots if you're doing a big canvas and if you're doing a tiny little canvas, you might not need as much paint. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start mixing up that colour now. I'm going to start with white as my base. I'm going to scoop up quite a lot of white and I'm just moving it over to a different dish over on my palette. And then to this white, I'm going to start adding a scoop of blue and a scoop of green. And I'm going to give that a good mix and just see what colour I come up with. The lovely thing about mixing up your own colours is you never really know what you're going to get until you start mixing them. It's a little bit like a science experiment. So I'm just giving that a good mix. And I've got this lovely kind of duck egg blue, which is almost like a turquoise pastel blue shade. What I might do to this is just add a little bit more blue to it and give it another good mix. So I'm not going to clean my brush. I'm just going to scoop up some more blue 
I'm going to mix that back in to this colour here. So as soon as you're happy with the colour for your background, and I think I'm very happy with this light blue shade I've got, we can then move back over to our canvas. And this is the fun bit, because all we're going to do is we're just going to colour in all of the back with this colour. So just be careful, if you can, not to go over your pencil lines too much. Don't worry if you do, because we are going to be painting our monkey afterwards. But just try and be careful just to focus this colour in your background. So I'm just going to start mapping out where all of my lines are. And we're just going to spend a moment colouring it all in. As soon as you've painted in all of your background, you just want to give your brush a really good wash in your water. Just make sure you're getting all of that paint off the bristles. And then just give it a dab on your kitchen towel. So this is your chance to decide what colour monkey you want to go for. Do you want to go for a brown monkey? Do you want to go for a red monkey or even a green monkey? Or even you could try doing a pink monkey. It's completely up to you. I'm going to be going for a brown colour for all of my monkey's head, the outside of the ears and the tail. And then I'm going to be making a really light shade to go in the monkey's face. 
So I'm just going to mix those colours up now. So starting with my clean bigger brush, I'm just going to move back over to my palette and I'm just going to mix up my first colour. So again, I'm going to start with a scoop of white as my base. So I'm just going to move that over to a spare bit of my palette. And then to this, I'm going to start adding a scoop of brown at a time and giving it a really good mix. So you can just mix up your colours for your monkey now. Any colours go, you can be really artistic with this. You can completely have an imaginary, made up, magical monkey. Just adding a little bit more brown to my mixture. Just gonna keep adding the brown paint until I'm happy. So I've got a lovely chocolate-like colour now with my paint and I'm happy with this. So I'm going to use this for the outside of my monkey. So once you're happy with your colour, you can decide which brush you want to use. I always say it's quite nice to have a little bit of an experiment and you can just switch between each brush. So you might want to start with a bigger one, but then when you get to more of the delicate sort of detailed areas, for example, like the hair, you can use your smaller brush. So I'm going to be using this chocolate brown colour for my tail and then also for the top section of the head and then the outer section of the ear and then also the neck. So I'm just going to start colouring in all of those areas now. Again, you can have a little experiment with your brushes, see which one you prefer. And don't worry if you're going over your swirly pencil mark with the tail because we're going to be going over that bit and giving it a little extra pop at the end. And I would say don't worry if you go over your lines, we just want to make sure that we're bringing this paint right up to meet our background colour. Just because we want it to look like the monkey is in front of the background. So we don't want to leave any blank bits of canvas along the edges. And if your background isn't dry yet, then don't worry, you can just leave it for a moment, have a little break, and then you can fill in your monkey. So take your time with this, there's absolutely no rush whatsoever. Whenever you're happy with your tail, you can then move over to the top section of your monkey's head. And don't worry if you're a little bit behind. Remember, you can always pause the video. Just take your time. There's no need to rush.
putting down my bigger brush for a moment and I'm just picking up my smaller brush and all I'm going to do is just use the same colour paint just to go in and fill in the areas that are a little bit more tricky. So this area here, just where the top of the head meets the cheek, I'm just going to use my smaller brush just so I can get right into that point and I have a little bit more control. Also, don't worry if your lines aren't neat or straight. Don't worry if they're a bit wobbly because we're painting an animal and they all have different wobbles and different fluff and fur. So we want them to look nice and natural. So don't worry if yours isn't looking super neat. It doesn't need to be. And I'm also going to use this smaller brush to fill in the hair at the top of our monkey's head. I might also use the smaller brush just to fill in the outside of the ears as well. And swap back over to my medium brush just to fill in the monkey's neck. As you're happy you can just give your brush another good wash in your water. And if you used your smaller brush I would give that one a good wash as well. What we're going to do now is we're just going to mix up the colour that we want for the middle part of the monkey's face and also the ears. Again it's up to you what colour you want to do. I'm going to be showing you what I'm doing with mine but make sure that you go wild and fun and arty with your own painting. So picking up my medium brush again and moving back over to my paint palette, I'm gonna scoop up some white paint as my base. Again, just moving it over to a spare bit of my palette. And what I'm gonna to do to mine is I'm just gonna add a little bit of this brown that I've used for the other part of the monkey. So I'm just gonna pick up a very small amount and I'm gonna mix that into this white. I want a kind of beige colour for my paint shade. So I'm just going to add a little bit more of this brown until I'm happy with the colour. Again, make sure you're using any colour that you like. So I think I'm happy with this colour that I've got here. So what I'm going to do is move back over to my painting and I'm just going to carefully fill in this whole section of the monkey's face. Now I'm actually going to go over the lines that I've already drawn on with my pencil. You should be able to see them slightly through the paint. But as long as you know roughly where they are, that's all that matters. And again, we just want to be nice and careful as we're bringing this colour up to meet our previous colour. So just have a little look at your painting. If your paint is still a bit wet, then you can just give it a moment before you do this bit. To just fill in all of the middle section first, maybe. And then as your paint on the outside is drying, you can then carefully bring the paint up to meet it. So you haven't got any gaps in your canvas your paper.
now just going to switch back over to my smaller brush and I'm going to pick up some of this same colour and now I'm just going to carefully fill in the middle part of the ear with this colour. Once you've filled those areas in, we just want to give our brushes a nice wash again. So you might just want to have a five minute break now just to let this section of our monkey dry before we move on to painting in the eyes, the nose and the mouth. As soon as your painting is dry, we're now going to move on to painting in the eye and the nose. So I'm going to be using my small brush for this. And I'm actually just going to use some pure black paint. But what I want to do is I just want to add a couple of drops of water to this and give it a good mix just so it's not too dry and sticky. So taking our black paint, we're just going to carefully paint in our eye. So you might still be able to see your pencil mark that you drew originally underneath. Just take your time and we're just going to do that oval shape using our black paint. And if you're scared to use the black paint and you don't want to use black paint, you could always use a felt tip pen instead. It does the same trick. I'm actually just swapping over to a slightly smaller brush to do my eye. And once you're happy with the eye, you can go ahead and paint in your nose. So I can actually just make out my pencil mark I made earlier so I'm just going to use that as a reference but if you can't see it don't worry you're just doing a little button like nose and it's going to come off the side of the canvas as well. And once you're happy with the nose you can then just draw in the mouth. That was just our little J shape coming down at an angle and then it just scoots round. And then if you think that you'll be able to see the other side of the monkey's mouth, you could just do it just here and bring it around the side of your canvas or just have it flowing off the side of your paper if you've used paper. So as a last finishing touch, I'm just going to re-add in that swirl that I had on my tail. So I'm just using my black paint and I'm just going to focus this just right here where the top of the tail meets the main body of the tail. And I'm just going to do a little curved shape. Just like that. And if you want to, as our last piece on our monkey, you can just give your monkey a tiny little eyebrow. So all I do is I just do a tiny little curved dash just towards the top section, but just towards the side of the eye, like so. We hope you'll enjoy painting with us today. If you did, then don't forget to give us a little thumbs up and make sure you check out our other tutorials because we have loads more animals ready to be created by you. Thanks, Thanks for painting with us. With us.